Plotting quadratic and cubic functions. This video is just meant as a revision aid and not as a teaching tool. So I'm just going to go quickly through a couple of examples of how to plot a, a quadratic and then a cubic graph. So we have a, an equation y equals x squared plus x minus 6 and we have some values of x that's going to allow us to plot some values of y and then we get a graph on this graph paper. So um, a couple of tips I'll give you. If you've got to do an x squared graph and you've got some x values, probably a good idea to work out your x squared values first. And remembering when you're squaring your times a number by itself, so 3 times 3 is 9, 2 times 2 is 4, 1 times 1 is 1, and 0 times 0 is 0. And also, um, squaring always gives you positive values. So minus 1 times minus 1 is, is 1, minus 2 times minus 2 is 4, and minus 3 times minus 3 is 9. And you'll see there's a nice bit of symmetry here. So we've got 1, 4, 9, either side of the 0. Now, from that, we're going to add x and minus 6. So if I start with the positive numbers, less likely to make a mistake with them. 9 is x squared when x is 3. And then we're going to add the 3, because that's what x is, to make 12. And take away 6 gives us 6. For this value of x, x is 2, x squared is 4, plus the x makes 6, take away 6 is 0. When we've got x is 1, 1 squared is 1, plus 1 makes 2, take away 6 will be minus 4. 0 squared is 0, add 0 is still 0, take away 6 is minus 6. One, uh, minus 1 squared is 1. Add negative 1 gives us 0 again, take away the 6. Now with quadratic graphs you always have some symmetry and I can see the symmetry starting to form here. So we've got minus 6 and minus 6, I'm expecting this to be minus 4, the same as that, let's just check that. So minus 2 squared is 4, add minus 2 is 2, take away 6 is minus 4. So there's the symmetry coming here, so this one should be 0. Minus 3 squared is 9, add minus 3 is 6, take away 6 is 0. So there we've plotted lots of values um, to give us coordinates to plot this graph. Now this sort of question, when it's given on a homework sheet, is usually just about one value. You're given, say, you're told an equation and then you're said x equals 3. All you'd have to do is put the value of 3 into this to work out the value of y or whatever value you're given for x. And we've done that lots of times here, we've done that seven times here, so let's just plot them. So at minus 3 we're going to plot 0, which is here. Minus 2 we're going to plot minus 4, which is down here. Minus 1 is minus 6. 0 is minus 6. 1 is minus 4. 2 is 0. And 3 is 6. Which is going to be up here. Now when you're asked to plot, the gra plot a graph or a curve, um, you plot the points but you do have to draw a curve through. It's quite tricky for me to do this with, with a, a tablet pen, but we'll try. Okay, this little bit down here is quite interesting. Because you've got these two points here, there should not be a straight line between these. The, the bottom of this graph is going to be between those two points. So you need to dip down a bit and then come back up then carry on up and try to get through all your points on your graph. That's not too bad. It should be nice and smooth. Obviously it's a bit jumpy for me to do this on a computer. Okay, so that's a quadratic graph drawn. You must plot the points, you must draw the curve through the points as best you can. And always be careful with the negative values that your x squared, if you've got x squared, they're positive. Okay, so have a look at a cubic. So, got a fairly straightforward cubic, x cubed plus x. So again, I would suggest you work at x cubed first. 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3. Um, be careful not to think that's 9. 3 times 3 is 9. Times 3 is 27. 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. And then we've got 1, 0. Now with cubic functions, um, because you multiply the negatives by themselves 3 times, they stay negative. So that's going to be the same as these, but negative values. 
And then we're just going to add x to that. So we start through with 3. 3 cubed is 27, plus x, which is 3, makes 30. 2 cubed is 8, plus the x makes 10. 1 cubed is 1, plus the 1 makes 2. 0 plus 0 is 0. Minus 1 plus minus 1 is minus 2. Minus 8 plus minus 2 is minus 10. And you'll see these are just negative versions of these. So that's going to be minus 30. Again, I could be asked to do this question um, without having to draw a graph just by ask if, if somebody's asking what's the value of y when x equals something, so x equals 2, and then I would put the value of 2 in here to get 2 cubed plus 2, which would be this value, 10. So you could ask, be asked for one-off values, but um, on a more um, test-oriented question, you'd have to do a lot more. So let's just plot these. So minus 3 is plotted at minus 30, so that's down here. Minus 2 is at minus 10. Minus 1 is at 2, which is about there. And then we've got 0, and then we've got the same things going up here in the positive direction. At 10 and then at 30. Okay, and then we've got to draw a curve through those points the best we can. And it should go like that, come fairly flat, and then back curve back up. Oh, missed one, but that's fairly close. Try to tie that up. There we go. So there's our cubic graph, and that's a typical cubic graph. Um, if it was more involved, it might change its shape so it gets more up and then down and up again. Um, but uh, that's a fairly typical graph for a cubic function. And there we go, that's plotting quadratic and cubic functions.